Hey everyone, welcome back. Long time no see. Whoa. What do I do to this? C4. Never seen this. From uh, white. Hmm. Mm, how do I respond to this? I don't know. I have no idea. The English. New to me. Mm hmm. I don't want to push E6 because it locks the light square bishop in. But at the same time, I don't want to recapture the knight with the pawn. Mm. Hmm. Maybe I do just want to get the bishop out to d7. Definitely not ideal. Hmm. Yeah, I really don't want the stacked pawns here. Ah, feels bad. A bit awkward. A bit awkward. Just defend the knight here. Got an exposed b2 pawn, or a loose b2 pawn. Maybe I can take advantage of that somehow. Also, he actually has two loose pawns here. Maybe I can figure out a way to harass that. What an uncanny play here. Decides to go back. Can either castle or queen b6? Hmm. Maybe I should focus on getting the knights out and stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just going to castle. That is a pretty annoying move, huh? That prevents queen b6. Hmm. Maybe I should have went c5 there. Went for the early c5. Yeah, I think I should have went for c5 there, actually. Now that I look at it. Kind of gonna. I kind of want to go bishop d7 and then push up uh, b6. Try to harass that pawn a little bit. Like he's trying to get this pawn here? No. Uh, no, let me think. If he takes that pawn, he's losing the bishop. And then he has the check here, which is going to be pretty annoying. Hmm. It's a bit annoying having this battery here. I think he's going to sack a bishop. I just... I can feel it. <laughs> I genuinely think he's going to sack the bishop on h6. I'm really tempted to 
go knight g4. I really don't want to recapture with the g7 pawn here. I'm almost thinking like knight e4, trade off, and then stick the bishop here. No, but then he has uh, essentially three defenders on g5. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm completely smelling a bishop sack here. And I'm going to run into some weirdness here when he gets his queen out. I think it's going to be a g-file harassing game. I just... I can, I can sense it. I'm really surprised he didn't sack that. Maybe a5 here. Force him to trade or something. I guess I could kick his knight if I go knight e4, he takes, I take with the pawn, and then his knight has to go somewhere. Where could his knight go? I think he might be forced to like offer the trade here or something. There's getting the bishop out here to uh, a6, but that just seems really bad. I think I'm just going to offer this trade here, just so I can kick his knight. He goes that way. Interesting. Maybe I should let him take with the bishop here so his queen and his bishop aren't lined up. Maybe he just takes with the pawn and I take his queen. Also would be nice. So I'm losing this pawn here. I could go attack his queen. I think it's a much better position for the dark square bishop, actually. I'll go attack his queen. Losing this pawn. Bit rough. I could attack his bishop too, but do I want to push the f pawn? Hmm, I don't know. Um, he could easily slide over here. Bishop f6, maybe? Hmm. 
don't know. Still thinking about bishop f6. I think rook b8 is a kind of a okay move here at this point. I don't really want my queen on f6. I think that's kind of a bad square. Hmm. Maybe planting the bishop here is not the worst thing. Sort of prevents him from castling. King side at least, because I'll just be winning his bishop. Actually, I can't go uh, rook b8. Just kidding. Hmm. Man, pawn f6. I can move his bishop right here, which is kind of a weird square. Can't really. I guess I could go protect this pawn. It's one idea. It's kind of a weird idea, but I don't really want to push. I don't want to push the pawn up so far. Hmm. Pawn f five. I don't know. Seems kind of risky, just to protect one pawn. He'll be able to line his queen up with a bishop. That'll be kind of annoying. Uh, pawn f5, pawn f5. Ugh. Really don't want to. I don't want to expose the diagonal since he still has the bishop pair here. But... I guess I just don't see a better move, so. Mm -hmm. I kind of figured he would do something like that. Kind of wasting moves here. Yeah. Ah, Bishop F6, man, I really don't want to, or even F5. I don't want to play this so bad. Eh. Bit of a risky move there. I think that's either going to be a really great move or a really bad move, and we're going to find out soon. Mm. 
Only had two viable moves there. Maybe I should have went to a6 to prevent castling there. I guess I, I could still attack his rook, but hmm, I don't know if that's very good at this point. don't really want to block the bishop in here. I guess I'll go attack his rook. I kind of wasted a move on that one. I probably should have went a6 to start off with just to prevent castling. Mm -hmm. Continue to add pressure over here. Could go for the trade. No, I can't go for the trade because the uh, bishop is protecting here. Just kidding. Bit of a risky move. But I figure with the pawn protecting this bishop, it's okay. Is playing very fast. Hmm. What do I do? Just launch all my pawns up the board or something? Trade off. Hmm. I really like my light square bishop. <laughs> Do I really want to trade back there? Not really. Hmm. I don't think I have any better options here. I figured he would take with the rook there. I was kind of surprised at that move. That's just me. Uh, sack the bishop, get the queen out here. Boom, boom. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This f5 move was very risky. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't played for a couple of days, so I'm a little bit a uh, little bit rusty, a little bit rusty if I'm being honest. 
I really want to get this pawn out of the way so I can get my bishop over here and try to skewer these uh, rooks. I don't think that's going to happen. Hmm. I have to play way faster. Man, it sucks this square is just ultimately defended by this bishop that I can't do anything about. I think he'll go here. I'll probably just move back here. I'm really just trying to get him to offer uh offer this trade. He's not going to go for it. So, oh well. Oh, he actually falls back a little bit there. Interesting. Kind of tempted to offer the trade here so I can just get his queen. Or so we can get the queen trade going. There are so many children crying in the background. You guys can't hear, but I can hear it. It's horrible. I'm going to start making moves fast. I need to just play way faster. This guy's gained a minute and a half, and I've lost 14 minutes. Yeah, not so good. Not a good look. Not a good look. <laughs> I'm trying to just get his rooks like not lined up. Yeah. up a pawn. I can, I can win this pawn here, maybe. Hmm. I don't want him to pass this. He'll probably... Well, he can't move back here, so I should just be winning this one. I'll be winning that one. Rough. That's fine. I'll be winning one, too, once he takes that. Is okay. So I want a pawn there, which is nice. That's fine. When in doubt, move the king. <laughs> I'm super distracted by the two crying children in the background right now. I know you guys, you guys can't hear it, but uh, there's an angry mother and two screaming children in the background, and it's uh, definitely something. Oh, let's see here. When in doubt, move the king in the center. I'll probably push up. Oh, he didn't actually take that. Do I actually want to take this? I don't know if I want to take that necessarily. Do I want, do I want to go check this way or just trade the pawn off? Uh, I don't know if I want to stack these, right? Then with the Chekarooskis, that's not very good either. Hmm. Um, let's think, let's think. I don't know. I think I'm losing this pawn. Just have to protect it. Uh can't really get checked here. I have to be careful. All my pieces are like very disconnected. 
Yeah, he's blocked off. What can I really do? Fully expecting this check next. Hmm. I'll attack his rook, I guess. He's probably just going to protect and... Yeah, I think he's going to be winning this... Trying to win this pawn here. So I'll just go for the trade. I'm going to get checked here. I think I just have to offer the trade. That was surprising. Um, where do we go? I think I might just call this one a draw. He has 19 minutes, doesn't that's insane? Oh well. Um Yeah. He's gonna be winning this pawn, huh? <clears throat> Where do we go? I'm gonna get checked and I'm gonna lose this rook. I don't want that to happen. Losing this pawn. Don't want that to happen. This guy's kind of protecting both. Even trade there. Um, I can attack, he can take. Attack the rook, I guess. Hmm. I guess this is just lost, isn't it? Hmm. Hmm. Check, I lose the pawn. Hmm. Tough. Tough, tough, tough. He's going to advance the pawn here. Uh, yeah, this is just lost. Um, yeah, I think unfortunately I just can't win here. Uh, oh, if he wins the pawn, yeah. Yeah, tough. I, I can't win here. I can't win. He played very fast and very well. There's just nothing I could I don't know. I just I I just couldn't find a good move anywhere. So Yeah, tough one. Tough. Man, GG. Oops. No, 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 no. Abort, abort. <laughs> I meant to click game review. No, 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 stop. <laughs> Go back to the game. I want to do the game review here.
Where did this fall apart? <laughs> Played like one bad blunder here. So 77 to 71. Should I move the rook here? This one move was so bad. Why? Hmm. Yeah, it was a very tough position, and I don't understand why this king move was so bad. Hmm. Wouldn't have he just taken the pawn there? Yeah, I don't know. That was a really tough end game. And I still don't really understand why this king move was so bad. I don't know. Maybe somebody can explain why d6 was so bad. I really don't understand, like, what could have been done here. And we were even here. Huh. Totally even game. Rook G6. Yeah, I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe someone can explain uh, why King D6 is so bad. I'm, I'm trying to understand it, but I guess I just don't get it. Hmm. That's so bad too, huh? That's horrible too. Well, that just loses a Rook. Can he just attack that? And then what? Rook g4? Oh, that's defended. Hmm. I see. Oh, so I guess my best strategy would have been to... Oh, I see. Oh, 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 oh. So I guess my best strategy would have been to try to get the rook over here to g4 to fork these pawns, because I don't think he would have been able to protect both of them at the same time. Since uh, g4 was protected by the rook, right? I think that's what the game is going after. And the pawn advances, and then you can win this pawn here. Hmm. So it's at least still even, but he probably still would have um, promoted first, I guess. I didn't see this rook g4 being protected by the pawn thing. I kind of overlooked that. Didn't really think about that. Hmm. But it makes sense now, though. But man, he played so fast. He gained, what, six minutes this game? Pretty insane. But uh, yeah, GG, uh, BDG92. Thanks for the game. Appreciate it. On a side note, if you're still here. Yeah, so we didn't have, um, we didn't have any power, cell service, or internet uh, in our area for the past two days. And a lot of people are still without power. It was a really bad uh, windstorm that came through on Tuesday night. And so the last two days have been kind of just survival mode uh, for us. Luckily, we're pretty prepared. We have like a generator and some backup heat sources and everything. So we're pretty good. But yeah, I had to take a break from the videos for a couple of days um, just to kind of take care of the family and everything and keep them warm and keep them fed. But uh, yeah, lots of trips to the gas station, keeping the generator running. So a little bit chaotic the last two days. So I'm still kind of recovering. It was kind of a somewhat of a stressful time, stressful couple of days. So I'm trying to get back into like sort of my normal rhythm and everything like that. But um, yeah, I think the worst of it's over. So... Hopefully I get back onto uh, my normal schedule here. So yeah, thanks guys for watching and see you in the next one.